What's going on, hey squad? That's your main man, Hitman, and I am back once again with the daily spawn updates for Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. This is for the family heirlooms, all lost jewelry, the coins, the, the arrowheads, the wildflowers, the antique alcohol bottles, all tar tarot cards, the bird eggs, and the fossils. I'm laughing because I was trying to say it off of memory because I didn't have my list up here. Um, but today is March. Matter of fact, it's Monday, March 15th. And as I say each and every video, smash that thumbs up button. If you find this video any bit informative or helpful in any type of way, and if you are watching, are browsing, are just checking out the channel, make sure you guys subscribe and hit the notification bell because I post videos each and every day, videos other than this video, or, and I do post videos other than this video, sometimes, I haven't been lately because I've been going through a little vo vo vocal voice problem, so... I've been trying to take care of my my you know vocal cords and stuff like that, but I'm trying to get back into the live stream and stuff like that. But um, if you guys want to know Madame Nazar's location any bit earlier than this video, be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at HitmanMiyagiYT. I do post Madame Nazar's location and any other updates with the channel, including now. This video, I try to send a link to this video so you guys can see it. I mean, just quickly click on it through Twitter or something like that. But speaking of Madame Nazar, <laughs> let's get to Madame Nazar's location, which she is down in McFarland's ranch location near Manteca Falls, Stillwater Creek, Steve's Landing Area. She will be here until 2 a.m. That's right. I said 2 a.m. She changes at 2 a.m. now. She will be here until 2 a.m. That's Eastern Standard Time, New York Time Zone, East Coast Time Zone, for those of you who don't know or not of America. But how I personally get to her when she's right here at this location is I'll fast travel to McFarland's Ranch, which the fast travel is right here. And it should put you somewhere over here in this area. I personally just follow the train tracks down. Be kind of mindful of the wolves and stuff that spawn over here in this area. But I just follow the train tracks down. You should see her once you get about here. Once you get about here, she should appear off into the distance. She's right there. She will be there once again until 2 a.m. Next Let's get to the Caribbean rum if I can find it again. Right here at this location, there's an overlook, like an outlook, like for hunters and stuff like that. You got to climb up the ladder. There's a platform. Come climb up that ladder. There's another platform. I think there's three. I'm not 100% sure because I haven't been over there in the last couple days. But I think there's three platforms. Go all the way up to the top, top, no matter if it's two or three. Go all the way up to the top, and that's where you will find your Caribbean rum antique alcohol bottle. Let's get to the cycles. I'm going to put you guys in frame so you guys can see each and everything that I did marked so you can go get it. Why not? The cycles for today... Monday, March 15th, are Family heir Heirloom Cycle 6, All Lost Jury Cycle 1, Coin Cycle 2, Arrowhead Cycle 5, Wildflower Cycle 5, Antique Alcohol Bottle Cycle 5, All Tarot Card Cycle 3, Bird Egg Cycle 5, and Fossil Cycle 4. Remember to check the description box below because everything will be down there. The Cycles... A link to a video for the current cycle of fossils will be down there. And how to spell 
my Twitter and Instagram for the channel, which is Hitman Miyagi YT. That's two eyes after the G. <laughs> but let's get to the, some of these things or all of these things that I marked across the map in on the Lemoyne side of the map. Up here at our first marker is a antique alcohol bottle. This antique alcohol bottle is a scotch whiskey bottle. Is right here at this location, right across from this burned down building or house. Um, it's in like a little small little reach in cave. Like it's not like a big cave where you can put your whole body in it. You can just reach it in, reach your hand in, and there's a boat over there as well. But right here at this location, you will find your antique alcohol bottle, which is a once again a Scotch whiskey bottle. There's a random fossil right here at this location. This random fossil, you need your metal detector for this one, so come over here with your metal detector. Um, there's a tree stump over here, I think, if I can remember correctly. There's a tree stump, so go get that. Right underneath this house by the H and Marsh, right here, there's a steel house right here. Right underneath this house, you will find a random coin. Come over here with your metal detector, and that's what you'll get. Let's go down to our first marker, or our second marker, right under the word Lagrosse. On this little island, you will find a random arrowhead. Come over here with your metal detector, once again, and that's what you will get. If you guys cross over here, like off that island, there's a couple tarot cards you guys can get, which one is right here by the L, right in, in like the middle of it, kind of. There's a two of swords tarot card on crates next to the wagon. And inside the house or shack, it's kind, kind of towards the front right here. There's a little shelf or like a cabinet with no doors or a cupboard. Uh, right here at this location, you will find a Seven of Cups tarot card. Uh, let's see what else we got. If you want to come over here, there is a another tarot card, which is a Eight of Wands. If you guys want to get that. Let's go over to the left, then we'll bounce up and get that one. This, right, this marker right here is a... A random fossil. I cannot tell you guys which one you will get, but come over here with your metal detector right there at that location, and that's what you will get a random fossil. Matter of fact, let's bounce here right, right quick. Right here at this marker, right here is a bird egg. This bird egg is a egret egg, E G R E T. It's in a tree, shoot it down with a varmint rifle or a bow using a small game arrow. There's also a cardinal flower around here somewhere. Yeah, I think it's around here. Somewhere around here. There's a cardinal flower, so go grab that as well. But let's bounce up here near the word Leque. Right here at this square. I tell you guys about this square all the time. This square is a miniature church. It's a mini church. It's a very small church. You have to make your character squat down and kind of crab walk into the building. Go all the way to the back and you will get a prompt to grab the lost jewelry off the counter or shelf or table. But this lost jewelry is a Ainsworth cross necklace. So grab that as well. Let's go over here to our next marker, which is right inside the E of Lemoyne. Right here at this location, there's two benches. There's one, there's a bench here, and there's a bench where my marker is. Right on the bench where my marker is, is a family heirloom. This family heirloom is a ebony hairbrush. It's on the bench near the back porch, right there at that location. Let's go over here to the right a little bit, right inside the saloon. 
towards the back of the saloon, you will find another tarot card. And this tarot card is a six of wands. It's on a shelf at the back of the saloon. There's also a family heirloom in a big treasure chest right here, right across from Gus. In this family heirloom is a boxwood comb. Let's see what else we got. Right over here, when that one is over there, there's also a tortoiseshell comb sitting right here down this alley on the ground floor on a bench right here at this location over to the right a little bit right there. If you're walking, it'll be to your left. So remember that. Um, what, let's see what else we have for you guys. I have another marker right here, which is another family heirloom. This family heirloom is a carved wooden hairpin. You have to dig for this one. So come over here with your metal detector and it's in a pile of trash right here at this location. So come over here with your metal detector and that's what you will get, a carved wooden hairpin. Let's go over to our next marker, which is a cardinal flower. This cardinal flower spawns over here each and every day and it helps me personally indicate what cycle the flowers are actually on. This next marker, which is up on the train tracks. So you have to get up. There's a little spot right here where you can walk your horse up or just run up and come down to this train tracks and come to about right here. You should get a row of trains, which is the first one. You jump on top of the first one, jump into the second one, which is where our marker is. And our marker is a antique alcohol bottle, which is a London dry gin bottle. This London dry gin, gin bottle is in one of the corners of the cart, if you guys don't know already. Uh, let's move up. We're going up to Rhodes, up to our next marker, which is another family heirloom. This family heirloom is sitting right here at the edge of this train station inside a treasure chest. And this item is a rosewood hairbrush, which is a family heirloom. I also have a tarot card for you guys, which is here on the ground floor. On a crate, there's a six of pentacles at this location. And there's also right next to the fence, like super close to the fence, like right there, there's a barrel. And on that barrel is a five of wands tarot card right next to the fence, like directly next to the fence. So go get that. And that's pretty much all I have for you guys, I think. Oh, matter of fact, right here at, the, at our next marker, the last marker. This last marker is a coin. Come over here underneath the bridge. There's like a little path that you can walk through right underneath the bridge. Come over there and stand like directly underneath <laughs> with your metal detector. And that's what you would get a random coin. And that is my, is actually my last marker for you guys but the cycles for today monday march 15th are once again family heirloom cycle six all lost jury cycle one coin cycle two arrowhead cycle five wildflower cycle five antique alcohol bottle cycle five all tarot card cycle three bird egg cycle five and fossil cycle five no four sorry once again <laughs> Family Heirloom Cycle 6, All Lost Jewelry Cycle 1, Coin Cycle 2, Arrowhead Cycle 5, Wildflower Cycle 5, Antique Alcohol Bottle Cycle 5, All Tarot Card Cycle 3, Bird Egg Cycle 5, and Fossil Cycle 4. Remember to check the description box below just in case I verbally mess up. Everything will be down there written out for you guys along with a link to a video for the current cycle of fossils, which is four, 
and how to spell my Twitter and Instagram name for the channel. But just hit man Miyagi YT. Uh, remember, the cycles change every day at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you don't know the difference between New York time zone and your time zone, look it up on Google. They will tell you the difference. But every day, New York time zone at 8 p.m. is when the cycles change. Today is Monday, March 15th. It's your main man, Hitman. I appreciate each and every one of you. I appreciate the shares, the likes, the comments, the help out in the comments. When you guys uh, comment any information that helps out me or the other subscribers, other members of the Hit Squad, I appreciate that. Anywho, once again, it's your main man, Hitman. And I'm out.